have Mr. Firoz H. Nakwi from FSNM. He is the founder and director. Federation of Sweets and Namkeen Manufacturers is the apex body in the uh, Indian food industry. We represent the uh, Mithai and Namkeen manufacturers of the country. Uh, we have around uh, 5,000 members across the country uh, who are the manufacturers of sweets, Mithai, Namkeen, snacks, hot serve, uh, QSRs. Many of them are into uh, different other kinds of uh, you know, uh, providing bakery products and uh, related products. To, nowadays, if you see, uh, uh, the traditional sweet shop is no more a sweet shop only. You you go there and experience the entire food uh, range of food products in in a sweet shop. You you can even buy frozen foods, parathas, samosas, dal makhani, you know everything. So they have become kind of food malls and very good point where people can come, enjoy, pass their time, buy sweets, buy bakery products, buy ice creams, buy chart so many things nuts we have nut launches within the uh, shop and shop kind of models that kind of a business taking place in country with this industry and uh, as far as our uh, role is concerned we educate them about the latest trends what are uh, taking place in in the country or globally what what the new technologies are coming what are the new kind of packagings are coming good raw materials how they can resource ingredients how they can resource so all these kind of things Apart from our interaction with the government departments, with GST council, with FSSAI, with you know different bodies who are you know concerned to our members, who are concerned to their businesses, uh, we do a lot of training programs for them. We do our own convention where we you know we get around 20,000 plus manufacturers under one roof coming every year, and then uh, quarterly we do uh, training programs and seminars and get-togethers where a lot of Mithaiwalas comes together and uh, you know take the benefit of the gathering, rubbing shoulders with the seniors who are already having big names in the in the industry. So this industry is growing very fast, having around 15% growth YOY, and this is really you know uh, engine of the Indi Indian food uh, processing industry, which is of around 4.5 lakh crores, and our share is around 1.25 lakh crores alone. And it's quite interesting to know that you have 5,000 members. In that, what is the split up of uh, sweets and snacks and namkins? Yeah, when we talk about uh, you know uh, split of this, majority is sweets because even a, a person who is having three, four shops in a town like uh, Gurgaon or Kanpur or maybe in in Pune, they, they, he can be a member. So we have around 4,000 members from the sweet side, uh, from big to small. We have like uh, Haldiram who are having 200 plus outlets. Mishra Peda 250, uh, Adyaran Bhavan 150. So these kind of people uh, and also the smaller shop guys who are having one, two or four shops. So around 4,000 members from that side and uh, about a thousand uh, companies who are into snacks and namkeen business, Farsan or Bhujia business, majorly like Bika Ji, Bala Ji, Yellow Diamond, all these kind of brands, smaller like uh, uh, medium companies like Mahesh or uh, Cornitos, these kind of companies. So, this is how we are uh, having uh, our distribution of the membership. If I am a manufacturer of snacks and numkins, and if I am becoming a member in FSNM, what all the support I can receive from FSNM in terms of my supply chain or any other aspect? Yeah, apart from providing them knowledge, information on the regulatory aspects, if there is some challenge coming from the government side, some regulation which is going to affect the industry, we fight with them, we convince them, we are you know part of many government panels where we suggest them about the policies, like uh, on mostly on food safety aspects, GST, uh, and uh, many more labeling uh, things. And when it comes to sourcing the raw materials and the you know the procurement, uh, mostly you know they, earlier there was a lot of vacuum between the sellers and the buyers. If suppose we are in a cashew conference, and when we have you know I, I see around four four five hundred uh, cashew suppliers, but a normal member from my side would be knowing only five, six of them, right? So if they want to go beyond uh, their uh, network, we can provide them those contacts. They, they, uh, mostly they come to us asking for some raw material, who's the better ghee wala, who's the better you know, besan wala, who's the better cashew wala or almond wala or pista wala. So they mostly come to us and we provide them. We have a monthly magazine which goes to all the members every month. So that magazine is also a good source for sharing knowledge as well as Lots of advertisements, lots of materials, recipes in the magazine coming every month, which is educating our members and uh, becoming a good tool for them.
similarly, as I told you, we do seminars and these kind of conferences, exhibitions you know, for our members. That is also a good tool for them. So it is mostly, you know, we are a bridge between our manufacturers and the allied industry. Okay. Whether it is packaging material, whether it is processing machine, packaging machine, raw material, ingredient, color, flavor, emulsifier, whatever they want, we have those data. We have those, you know, even these people are also members. We have an allied body also, uh, which is called Development Council for Sweets and Snacks, Technologies and Raw Materials mm -hmm. under the FSNM. Mm -hmm. So that allied body is where all the cashew walas, all the all the badam walas or machine walas can take membership and we can give them access to our members as well. We are so pleasant to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Same here. And I'm really amazed to see this kind of gathering. And I, I'm very sure that this is going to be a, a game changer for cashew walas. Thank you. And we see from India, we, uh, we will see very soon the way we, I was just uh, you know listening at the stay uh, in, the, in the hall by one of the panelists that the way California almonds or uh, California walnuts promote their things across the world, we will also have somebody some uh, you know brand which will uh, represent Indian cashew and Indian cashew will see a good uh, name in the global market as well as